Hi, I'm Lori from Miami Township Library, and today we're going to do a craft that is both easy and fun for people of all ages and can turn into some really nice gifts. What we're going to be doing is making decoupage tiles. Okay, and here are some examples of some of the, the tiles that people have made in the past. And you can see that these can be very complicated. This one has a lot of layers of newspaper and magazine photos and uh, tissue paper and stuff all layered on top of each other for kind of an artistic effect. Uh, this one is basically just a napkin uh, pasted to the tile, and but it also looks very nice, I think. Anyone can do this and it's going to look nice pretty much whatever you do with it. I want to talk about what you're going to need to do this and you absolutely do not need all of this stuff that I have. Um, certainly though you are going to need tiles. Uh, my best advice to you is don't pay too much for your tiles. First off you might already have some tiles in your basement. If you go to like a home store, home decor store, you can get a box of these for about 10 cents a tile. If you're paying much more than that that's not a fabulous idea. Um, one thing you'll definitely need to do is to put something on the bottom of your tile to protect the table from your tile because it is a little scratchy. I tend to use uh, these little felt thingies and you can buy these at uh, a craft store and just like use four or so or you can cut them up uh, to protect your table. You don't have to use one of those. You could also just use a piece of cloth. This is a piece of felt which is you know a slightly thicker kind of cloth. So that is that part. Um, magazine pictures are excellent. I, uh, I've, I, because I do this with a lot of people sometimes, like you know, uh, 20 people at once. I generally cut out my uh, magazine pictures beforehand so they can choose. Um, Color pictures or black and uh, white pictures on newsprint are actually outstanding. Uh, these all come from the Times Literary Supplement and it's really almost worth it to subscribe to that in order to get these fabulous pictures. Uh, these are images uh, that come from a pad of I guess you just call them designs and I got these at a hobby store. Uh, people use these for scrapbooking. Napkins are wonderful. Sometimes with napkins uh, you can sort of peel off, peel the napkins into layers um, and the thinner the the stuff that you use for your tiles the better and so this is very very thin and this could be a very lovely tile thing. Uh, let's see uh, this is um, a piece of a doily this can also be peeled into layers. This is tempera paint. Painting your tile is an excellent idea. Remember though you have to wait for your tempera uh, paint or really you can use any kind of paint except watercolors. You have to wait for your paint to dry and so if you're working for, with young children that might not be ideal. Uh, stickers are great especially if you're working with people who uh, might get frustrated you know with the glue process. Just stick them on like that. Glitter is excellent if you're working with one ch young children. Don't leave them unaccompanied with the glitter or else um, you know, you'll run out of glitter really, really fast. Um, you'll also need something to glue your designs down to the tile with. Um, here are three options. Uh, this finish thing that I have here. You can buy this um, at any hobby store. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, I have some in this, um, this cup here. You can also use matte medium if you're you know, a real artist and have some. It's certainly more expensive. Uh, if you just want to do this uh, right now and you don't have Mod Podge or the matte medium, you can use Elmer's glue. With the Elmer's glue, you're probably going to want to add a little water, but probably what, less water than you think actually. Um, I have, I'm, with these, I tested these out beforehand and you don't actually need to use a, a sealer or a varnish at the end if you don't want to, but if you want to be really, really sure that your design, if you're in love with your design and you want it to last, uh, do wait a week for this to dry fully and then spray it uh, with this acrylic sealer finisher thing, uh, which is a varnish. Um, you might want to do it outside side because it has a strong smell, but this will definitely save your design, you know, for years to come. 
Okay, so I am going to demonstrate this, and I sort um, how much you plan beforehand is completely up to you. You might be a very careful person. You might just want to put a napkin on and make it look sort of like this. It's completely up to you. I just t tore off a few things to do uh, beforehand, and I put my Mod Podge in a tiny little cup because I know I'm not going to use all of it, and I want to be able to pour it back into the ca container. And I keep my brush in water just to keep it nice. Uh, all of this stuff is water soluble. It'll clean up pretty easily. So I'm going to start by layering my tile uh, with the medium, the white medium. This is white right now. And after I'm done, the whole thing is going to like, look like a white gloppy mess. But this is going to dry clear. I'm gonna, I decided I wanted sort of a lot of blue in my design, so I cut a piece of blue from this newsprint. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna paint it. You're gonna notice that probably there are going to be some wrinkles in your paper, um, live with it. You're not going to notice them very much when you're done. This one here, I think this is my, one of the nicest ones I've seen. This has a lot of wrinkles. You can hardly notice them. Think of it as just part of the art. I had this pretty uh, blue scene. It's some kind of interior scene. And even though I'm going to be adding a whale to it next, I'm just going to add this here paint over it. You can't paint too much. Um, when I work with people, sometimes they're shy about putting any paint on this, uh, sorry, any gluey stuff on this because they're worried that they're going to cover up their design. This is going to dry clear. Then for whatever reason, I wanted some, some of this sort of pink um, tissue paper kind of stuff. You can buy this at, at a craft store or a hobby store, which is where I got it. Paint it on. Um, I wanted palm trees. Ev nothing's complete without palm trees. This is why it's a good idea to sort of make a mock-up of what you plan to do before you put the, uh, the glue on because it, it does look all white like this. Now I'm going to put the two princesses on because every tile needs princesses. Here we go. And now I'm going to put the whale on. Um, I really like the whale. Okay, there's that. And again, right now I can hardly know for sure what this is going to look at like, except I kind of practiced beforehand. I feel like I want a little more tissue paper, maybe at the top. And I don't want a sharp edge. I want sort of a, a soft edge, so I'm, I'm cutting it like this. And I don't want to cut up, cover up the princess's heads. So I'm just sort of, I think maybe I'll make some stripes. And again, just put on more of this gluey stuff. I'm going to give myself another, another stripe, more glue. OK. Um, I'm going to live a little and put a little glitter on top. Not very much. And if you're using glitter, save your glitter till the very end because if you try to paint over the glitter, it's going to ma just make a mess and the glitter will just stick to your brush. So I'm just going to put a tiny little, sprinkle a tiny little bit of glitter on just like, I don't know. Well, that was really a little more than I meant, but yeah, sometimes you want a lot of glitter. Okay. And last thing I'm going to do, you can see why little kids enjoy this. Um, I'm going to put on more of this tissue paper stuff. This is sort of a stripey tissue paper. I'm going to paint it again. And there I am. This looks terrible. However, when I'm done, when this dries, and this is going to take probably a good hour to completely dry so you can carry it around in your hands, uh, this is why uh, one of the things that's not on the table is a paper towel. You're going to want to have a paper towel uh, to dry this off or carry it away with. Um, after a while, it's going to look something like this, basically probably a little bit like this one. I did this one a couple days ago. And you're going to be able to put your cold or hot drink on it immediately, and everything will be fine. If you want this to last for years to come, for example, 
I don't know if someone puts like a truly boiling cup of coffee on this and leaves it there for hours, um, I would suggest some kind of varnish. But that is our craft for today and it's a lot of fun and people of all ages and artistic skills um, and abilities can enjoy it and thank you very much for being here.